What's up guys, Midnight Cosplay here, and today I have a short little video uh, talking to you guys about face shells. What is a face shell? How can you get one? Let's find out. So a brief history on face shells. Face shells are typically seen under the mask of any of the Spider-Man movie suits. Uh, the only time it's not used is when the actor has to take the mask off, then they have a separate mask or a separate sort of mechanism on the inside called mid-frames. That sort of holds the lens to the mask, but most face shells don't have this. It's just a lens and it snaps right into place. For practicality purposes, mid-frames can be good. They can be bad in some ways, um, mainly because you have to glue them into your suit for them to work. Um, but in general, most replicas just have this system where it's a lens, magnets, you can see the magnets right there, all of this one is plastidipped, and they snap right on. And so as you can see, it fits really nice to my head. There we go. So how can you get a face shell? Luckily, in the last few years, there have been a lot of really great modelers in the Spider-Man cosplay community who have made very, very accurate face shells. Um, this one was modeled by me. It's, it's pretty accurate. Um, but there are tons of other makers in the community who sell their files for a pretty affordable price. The Probably the main one is Sensational Spidey on Etsy or Instagram. You can contact him there. Um, he does really great work. He has a Discord server. Um, he has a lot of great resources on his channel. I'll put his link in the description. Um, but he is the probably the best person to buy a face shell model from. Uh, if you don't have a 3D printer, there are lots of people who would love to print it off for you uh, as a commission, as long as you send them, you know, if you send them the file, then they can print it off for you and you should be good to go. Um, another place you can go is uh, Vacuformed. So T-Jack shells, he does really good work. His face shells are vacuum formed and the lenses are resin cast or the frames are resin cast, sorry. Um, he does really good work as well. You should definitely check him out. He's on Instagram. Um, so yeah, I'll show you guys now what it looks like with the mask on. And so here is the face shell on my face. As you can see, there is no sort of lip protrusion. It looks nice and sort of unified and flat and really, you know, it, it just looks really professional when you use a face shell. It really adds a, a look of realism to your suit. So that's why I always recommend using face shells um, instead of just, you know, gluing the lenses to your suit. Because that's an option. If you are really on a budget, it looks fine. You know, it looks good enough. But with a face shell, it just kind of, it adds like a movie quality to your suit. I do a little bit of a sort of a 360 here. Kind of see how that looks. So yeah. So final thoughts on face shells. They are just a really great way to improve the look of your suit. Um, they can be affordable. They can be expensive depending on who you go with. Um, but if you just do a little bit of research, you can definitely find one that will hopefully meet your, your standards. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much the end of this video. Uh, thanks guys for watching and, uh, I'll see you later. Thanks guys.